Hello friends, welcome back to another Ireland landscape photography vlog, and in this video I share techniques for capturing wide-angle scenes, telephoto details, and even aerial photography. All shot at one of the most dramatic places I've ever been to in my entire life. But funny enough, this location is not where I shot my favorite images of the day. So stick around to see more, and I really hope you enjoy watching. Alright, so I just hiked onto this mountain right here. Got Nigel over here shooting some cool stuff and just look at this amazing view. Oof, it's windy over here. Look at this. What do you think? Pretty cool? I think this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. I'm gonna have a look down there. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with the 100 to 400 here doing some telephoto perspectives. But I just want to look around for a little bit and enjoy the scene first. And look at all these clouds, stormy light coming through, beautiful storm clouds. We're really lucky because it was supposed to pour rain, which it did a little bit earlier, but right now we have this nice gap in the storm. After wandering around for a little while, I decided to pull out my 100 to 400 telephoto lens, and here's what I shot. So here's my first image of the location taken at about 200 millimeters. I wanted to focus in on these peaks called the Three Sisters with that beautiful island in the back left. Even though it wasn't close to sunset yet, I felt like this lighting worked pretty well for this composition with the shimmering dappled light off the water and that really nice haze in the background. After photographing this one, I noticed some beautiful horizontal lines on the water created by the light and shadow. So I decided to zoom in to 400 millimeters and here's how it turned out. One of my favorite things about using a telephoto lens is really being able to zoom in on features out in the distance and really simplify the lines, shapes, and textures. Decided to do hike around for a little bit and uh, pulled out the handy 100 to 400 lens to get some telephoto perspectives and the uh, sunny, sunny day that we were having with some partial clouds is now looking pretty dramatic and whew, there's some really interesting light out there too right there you see that just a bit of spotlight Let's see if i can get this with the 100 to 400 lens wow look at that so i'm just zoomed into almost 200 millimeters i'm just making sure that my shutter speed is high enough to deal with that hand holding so one eight hundredth of a second, something like that. And uh, I'm not really worrying about the f-stop because everything out there is at infinity. I don't think I could paint a more epic scene. Like if somebody told me, sketch some, some almost unrealistic sea stacks and cliffs, I don't know, I'd probably draw something like this. After this, the sun pierced through the clouds, creating some beautiful warm light to work with. I love spending time at a location and really seeing how the lighting changes the compositions that I find. And in this case, I felt like that warm glow was really helping to accentuate the layers of these peaks. I shot all of them handheld, and I really just made sure my shutter speed was high enough to not get any blurry photographs. I ended up photographing most of these at f6.3 because everything was at infinity, so I really didn't have to worry about depth of field here. Check out this light right now beautiful <laughs> and uh, I just got done flying my drone I was using this guy to get some aerial perspectives of these two sea stacks right here that feel a little bit blocked from this perspective but from the drone I was really able to get close up to them and kind of see a different perspective of the landscape I was already blown away with how incredible this location was from the ground, but flying my drone over the sea stacks opened up a completely new world of possibilities.
here's one of my favorite perspectives from the drone, this time an aerial panorama. So I'm basically shooting three horizontal shots, one for the sky, one for the horizon, and then one tilting down at these islands. I think what really caught my eye in this composition were those almost UFO looking clouds right above the cliffs. And I think the symmetrical shape of them really helped to accentuate the composition. Definitely the type of light you want for a wide angle scene, but I've I've mainly been focused on some telephoto perspectives of, of all of this in the distance, so I'm wondering if it's worth at least pulling out the wide angle and seeing if we can find some foreground for some of uh, some of this light. Maybe we can get those sea stacks down there in a wide angle frame. But uh, I think that's what I'm gonna try and try and do. I'm gonna hike around here for a little bit and see what else we could find here. After walking around for a little while, I found a perfect viewpoint that offered a clean perspective on those sea stacks. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The only thing about this scene, and uh, I'll compose it real quick just so you can see kind of what I'm seeing. Let's just get a quick tripod going here. Gosh, the light is incredible. You can see the sun has dipped behind a cloud. Maybe it'll come back out. But look at all the color right now. Really, really beautiful. The only thing about the scene that I'm not so certain about is you have all of this action on the left side, a little bit of light on the right, but I, I feel like this gap right here on the um, right side, there's just a bit of a gap. So I'm wondering if we can get closer to this ridge, can we close that gap and create more of sort of a V shape into the C stack. And uh, let's just try that out and see. Kind of move in. Okay, that's starting to look pretty interesting. Yeah. If I pan the camera down, you actually have these little patterns in here that may work as a leading line. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we do a panorama here so that we get this beautiful sky Kind of creating a V shape right into the horizon. Then we have these nice leading lines. And that's one of the things I'm always looking for in these wide angle frames is how do I balance the scene? Because oftentimes when you're shooting the coast and you're shooting a cliff, you've got a cliff on one side. It always feels very left heavy or very right heavy. So if you can close that gap or find some something of interest to fill the, the empty gap, then uh, it oftentimes makes the scene look a lot better. Oof is starting to come out a little bit. So I'm gonna do one for the foreground down here. ISO 100, F11, and I'm gonna do a bit of a bracket here, just in case. I probably won't need the bracket. And if you're wondering where I'm focusing, I'm just focusing on infinity for the scene at F11, I think. I mean, this is all this foliage in here is looking very sharp. Bracket, bracket, bracket. And I always do my bracket manual just because I feel like it works a lot better. I don't need like a ton of images, just enough. Wow, that sky, look at this sky. Whew, this is the best sunset I've seen in a while. I'm gonna take this off the tripod just to make it easier for now. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's play around a bit with our perspective. Wow, look at that. That's nice as a vertical. So here's the final image that I was just working on, and I'm really happy with the way this one came out. So I ended up just using the vertical frame here and doing an exposure blend of about two photographs because I needed just a little bit more highlight detail in the clouds there. So overall, I didn't need all of the extra frames I was photographing, but I always find it to be a good idea to shoot a little extra just in case you get in the Lightroom and you realize you need a panorama or you need more exposures for the highlights or the shadows. Well, the light has faded, as you can see here. 
sun has gone behind some clouds and uh, I'm just kind of sitting and enjoying the view. Definitely a challenge to photograph though. There's, there's so many ways to compose this, whether it be with the wide angle lens or with the telephoto lens or with the drone, uh, different lighting, sunset, sunrise, midday. Um, and I think part of that challenge makes it more fun. And I don't know if those wide angle frames that I, that I just shot are gonna work, but I'm glad I, I did a bit of problem solving and at least found something that, that may work. And now I'd love to hear from you which image from this location ended up being your favorite. Did you like the telephoto details, the drone shots, or the wide angle perspectives? Please let me know in the comments. So this is undoubtedly one of the most incredible places I've ever been in my entire life. And even though I'm happy with some of the work that I created here, I want to show you a quick series of images that I captured earlier that morning that ended up being some of my favorites on my trip. So these were shot just mid-morning while driving around with Nigel, and we stopped at a random clearing that overlooked the ocean, and we started noticing little bits of light piercing through the dark storm clouds, and the way they spotlit the water in some of these waves was absolutely incredible to witness. I don't think Nigel and I had any expectations of what we might see during this little adventure, but this little spontaneous moment ended up being one of my best memories from the trip. Hi, Darren and Mads. Hello. How are we feeling? I'm quite excited. I, I got what I came for. What'd you shoot? I, I, I shot a 50 mil of this scene here with the sea stacks and stuff. I'm a little bit in doubt about that, mm. but then I also ran up, took the drone and long lens and had myself in the foreground and then the background. That was like, I really wanted to focus on that because I kind of feel that that's the feature of the scene. Mm. Nice. So, yeah. Darren? How about you? I really liked today. I think the layering was fantastic from here. I moved over to this side and I managed to get some nice framing with the ridge that runs down here with the two stacks. And yeah, the light was great. It was dancing in now the clouds. Really happy with that. But yeah, you know what? It's it's great like to see you guys here to see the beauty of Ireland through your eyes and appreciate it. I mean, I can come here anytime, mm -hmm. but I'm delighted to hear he's gotten some uh, good footage. How about you? It's pretty, pretty good, yeah. yeah. Winner, winner. Yeah. yeah! With that, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn more about how I take my images and process them, I'm going to leave a link to my workshops in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.